Hello, I'm Carter, and I'm going to be doing my reflective vlog over my ceremonial speech and the class overall. So, if, um, I'm, so about the uh, ceremonial speech, I felt um, I did a fairly well, a fairly good job. Um, I was more prepared for this one than I was the previous one, um, and I really liked the topic because I have read Lord of the Rings books. I'm a huge fan of J.R.R. Tolkien, and I really enjoy his works and have a ton of respect for him because. I'm a huge fantasy fan, and I read a bunch of fantasy books, and everyone that I read, after doing the speech and research, it's so relevant to see that Tolkien has influenced every single one of these fantasy books, and that's really cool to me. So was, I really enjoyed the topic, which made it a lot easier to talk about, um, and having that knowledge about Lord of the Rings, and kind of, um, how, like, I, I understood that Tolkien had this influence, whereas, like, choosing a politician or something wouldn't have been good for me because I wouldn't have understood uh, stood what the politician has done and stuff like that. Whereas Tolkien, I have seen it with my own eyes in uh, in literature, the facts that he's had. Um, I wish I would have had a little more time to prepare because there are a few things that I forgot to mention in the speech. Um, an example was I forgot to bring up the fact that the uh, scientists had named a dinosaur after um, Sor Sauron, one of the characters in the books and um, a few other little facts and stuff that I forgot, and a few citations that I forgot to mention. Um, so a little more practice would have helped with that. And then I needed better apparel. I mean, I was wearing this during the time of the presentation because I forgot to bring my uh, fancy clothes and my good-looking clothes to uh, school where I am able to present in a professional location with um, peers to watch me. Um, that's the best place I can do that. But I didn't have proper apparel just because I left it at my house, and it's, I, it's hard for me to go back home to get it and then come back to the school. So sorry about that, but um, I got it done. <laughs> and then the, uh, to move on to the class overall, I had a very um, enjoyable time with this class, and um, I was kind of watching some of my other classmates um, in high school, not in this class, other my other uh, high school classmates going through other speech classes, and they were just having a rough time, and um, they were struggling with a lot of their speeches. And I feel like um, not this wasn't easier, but it just was smoother and I liked the way the class felt and um, it wasn't like stressful and I really liked that. I mean, it just felt everything was, um, the steps that were taken were really gradual. So like, um, I liked how you organize, the teacher organized the, uh, um, the speeches into a category and then you had, did your steps and then you went on my next speech and then you did your steps and then the next speech and then the steps. I really liked that um, block formatting because it really helps you understand what you needed to prepare and you could look to the future and be like, well, this is what I'm going to need to do. This is how much time I need to put aside for it. And I really enjoyed that. Um, and it had a ver I love how the class had a one-on-one -on -one feel. So like when I gave my topics, I feel like I was just talking to the teacher and then she was giving me her full attention, undivided attention and input back. And I really appreciated that because it made me feel like I was um, getting listened to and my speeches and stuff weren't just to a robot. You know, I really felt like I wasn't just pushing stuff into a computer to get graded. I felt like I, I really felt that the teacher was there and they're guiding me and helping me through these speeches. And I really appreciated that. Um, but then it wasn't um, just one on one, you know, because there was the discussions and stuff that made me realize that there were other people in this class. And I really liked that as well. Um, then. And then the peer-to-peer -peer, um, re critical reviews made me, I really liked that because then it, I could really see how other people, because I didn't have time to watch everyone's videos. You know, I watched a few here and there and stuff, but the peer-to-peer -peer one made me really analyze other people and it made me realize how similar um, um, I am to them and the different problems and stuff that I have that um, I share with these other people that I was watching. And so that was really cool too. And um, I was talking to my other friends and they said they didn't really have to do any of that stuff for their speech class. So I was really glad that I was able to do that. Um, thank you very much for this great speech semester, and I feel like the stuff that I learned here isn't just going to be something that I'm just going to forget, you know, I mean history. <laughs> I'm actually going to um, remember this stuff, and I'm going to use it um, when I'm giving speeches in professional locations or for college or another speech class that I may take down the road. Um, so thank you very much for this enjoyable experience. Good year.